Hello guys, welcome to Chasing Infinity. This is Adarsh and today I'm going to show you how you can write your first Django app. So Django is a high level Python framework. It's really powerful, fast, secure and scalable. It's gaining popularity now and you can make all kinds of web apps using Django. So first make sure that you have installed Python. You can download it from here, right? Now let's open your command prompt so if you want you can make a virtual environment and install django inside it but today i'm not going to do that let's just get into django and write some code in it right to install django type pip install django it's already installed for me so now let's start your first django project okay so to do that type django admin start project uh, my first project okay okay so my first project is created now let's go into that directory cd my first project now to run your project you can type python manage.py run server you should get this so now basically your server is running on your local host okay so if you go into that address you should get this right it worked so this is your first django project now open up your favorite text editor i'm using sublime here and let's try it in. okay so you can see that there's a folder my first project inside your main project folder right and there are a few python files in there i'll explain all this later so inside one single django project you can have as many apps as you want okay let's make a new django app okay so to stop this press ctrl c now to make your first app type python manage.py start app my app okay let's call it my app right so you have your first app now so if you had a really big project then you can have each each module of the project as one app right so now let's go into settings.py file okay and you can see a list called installed apps here okay in there let's add our app okay it's my app right and don't forget the comma so now that you have made a new app you have to add it into the installed app list right in settings.py file so after you have done this let's go into the urls.py file okay and import our import all the views and let's type from my app import views okay now let's define a new url okay so for that type url function don't forget the comma and this is the syntax type r and inside quotes this denotes the beginning of the url so let's call it my app okay so basically a new url means whenever a user visits this url okay it will be redirected to the view that we specify here right so let's type views dot index right so index will be a function inside our views.py file in our my app folder right so every time a user visits this url this views.index function is called right so let's define our index function index okay and as the parameter we'll pass request okay so that'll be the request that is passed when the url is, the URL is called okay and here we'll return something okay we can write some code here and then return an html file but today we'll be returning an http response okay 
so inside that let's write some HTML okay h1 h1 hello world okay so inside the h1 tag hello world so this will be the response when the URL my app was called okay and let's just import the HTTP response function as well it's inside django.shortcuts right okay so now let's check it out type to run the server again python manage.py so let's go to the url that we defined okay it will be this address slash my app right and hello world right so what happened was when we called this url okay django went here and this call was redirected into this function okay which is inside my app dot views and it basically returned this http response that we are seeing here so that's all for today i hope you learned something from this video and if you have any problems or suggestions please leave them in the comments below Thank you for watching so I'll be posting more videos on Django so please like share and subscribe